the second Sunday in Easter, Year B, from the Book of the Acts of the Apostles. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. In the name of the one in whom we believe, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for today bring together ideas about families and sharing and consolation and covering. The book of Acts speaks of the earliest Christians living together and attending to one another's needs, feeding the hungry and clothing the naked. Our psalm, likewise, speaks of kindred living together in unity as a blessing akin to the anointing of priests. The priest offers the sacrifice of prayer on behalf of the people, asking for God to supply what they need and to atone for, the Hebrew word literally means to cover over, what the people have done amiss. Living together in unity as kindred, we seek to supply mutual needs and to forgive, to cover over, mutual harm, not in the sense of sweeping under a rug, but in the sense of offering a covering protection. When John's epistle for this morning speaks of Jesus, therefore, as the atoning sacrifice for the sins of the whole world, he's speaking of the whole world sharing this same family relationship. The point of sharing the gospel within that family is not just about information and the saving power of belief in that information. It's about the joy of fellowship with one another and with God. We sing this same joy in our gospel when Jesus comes among the fearful disciples and declares peace among them and calls them to a common mission. Within that fellowship, we cover one another, not as a matter of cover-up, pretending that sin does not exist, but of showing our wounds as Jesus shows his to us. Jesus then cleanses and covers us, just as we would first cleanse and then cover a wound, protecting it from further harm. This is the mutual care we owe one another in the fellowship of Christ. Let us therefore hold fast to that peace that we hold in common with one another. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.